Object detected. Hey everybody, welcome to Miata channel. It has been an absolutely crazy start to the year this year. And I am so happy with the way things have been going. Uh, I mentioned in my previous video that the channel's now monetized, but I wanted to go into a little more depth than that because I think how this happened is just nuts. Let me back up to the first video of the year so you can see what I'm talking about. And on January 7th, I posted my first video of 2024, which was Oregon Insanity. Happy New Year. And right before the end of 2023, we just squeaked by 1,500 subscribers. Yeah, and that seems kind of insignificant significant now. <laughs> But then nine days later, I posted my first video about the 2024 Miata, and that got over 30,000 views. It just kind of blew my mind and caught me off guard. I didn't really expect it to blow up. It's now my most popular video of all time, which, yeah. That was great. And I welcome all those new subscribers that have joined and all the new viewers that this is your first time watching the channel. Welcome, I am so glad that you came here and I hope you enjoy what's to come. But after that, I posted another update on the 2024 Miata options with the configurations and prices. And that video is blowing up also. It's done over 3,000 views in just a couple of days. And that's added up to a really awesome combination because what happened was when I started the year, I was just floating right below 3,000 hours, which is the basic threshold for monetization on a channel. And that first video pushed me over that limit almost right away. So at that point, I'm just over 3,000 hours and I'm eligible for basic monetization, which all that really lets me do is I can do things like super chats and super thanks, and I can link my store to the YouTube channel, which I did. And those two videos combined with all the other videos that are being watched regularly pushed me from 3,000 to full monetization, which is 4,000 hours in two weeks. And I'm just blown away by how that happened. So I'm here to announce that the channel at this point is fully monetized. Yay! And I'm so happy about this. It really just changed my whole year in just a matter of few weeks. So this is where I want your input. And for the sake of being transparent, I want to throw this out here for all of you. And that is the fact that Miata Channel is its own entity, separate from me. And I don't intend to take any money from the channel. I have a good job. I don't need that money. And I'm just using it to pay for the operation of the channel. And once we get past the basic operations, which is not that expensive, that's all going to go back into mods, projects, maybe some more cars, trips, whatever whatever I can come up with. And I want your input on what you guys want to see. I'm going to throw out a few ideas here. If you have any more ideas on your own, post them in the comments below. I read every single comment on this channel. And a few stats here. Since the beginning of the year, we've got 39,500 views. We've gained over 500 subscribers. We passed over 2,000 a couple days ago, which just kind of blew my mind we gained that many that fast. So one of the first things I want to throw out there is like I was mentioning about Oregon Insanity and a lot of the other drive videos that I've done, they aren't popular at all. And at this point, it's really hard for me to justify doing them. It takes so long to do one of these videos. It takes me weeks, usually, because it's a ton of editing. And at this point, I'm thinking about scrapping my Dash to Diablo drive that I promised because it just doesn't seem to be the interest. I also have the 130 Miles of Curves video, which I think you guys might like more than some of the other ones. This is a three camera reaction video that I did over a three hour drive and it was absolutely nuts. So I really want to share that one with you. Uh, but going forward, I'm finding it hard to justify doing these drives. They just don't generate the views. One of the ways I was thinking about making that feasible though is to do a membership for the channel, which would be about 99 cents a month to start. And if you subscribe to that membership, I would make those videos available. But if there's not the interest in them, uh, I'm just going to stop doing them. Now, I am going to still do some sort of drive video, but it's going to be with a purpose, not just the fact that I did a drive. Like, for example, if you remember back a while ago, I got a 2022 Miata with an automatic and I went out and took it for a test drive and I did a video on it that I never published. Part of the reason I never published that was I made a few mistakes in the video that I couldn't go back and correct. But in a couple of weeks, I'm renting a 2022 Miata through Turo. And I'm gonna take that car on a drive 
with my Miata Club and I'm going to film my reaction. One of the reasons I'm doing this is to give a review of kinematic posture control and my opinion of how it reacts to fun curvy drives. So I am going to bring that video back. It's coming back real soon. Uh, another thing coming up is, like I said, I'm going to scrap Dash to Diablo, but I'm going to continue the summer saga with the timing belt debacle. And this will be coming up really soon. This is with my friend Adam, who is also the owner of Project Ron. And he also has a 2002 special edition Miata. We did a timing belt on it. And this weekend, I'm going down to Adam's to shoot another video where we're gonna try and get that car roadworthy and take it out for a drive. And speaking of Project Ron, I also have a series that we're going to be coming up with that's called Ron Versus. And basically what's going to happen there is I bought a race box. We're going to use this to do timing of 0 to 60, 60 to 0. If we can do quarter miles, we're going to do it. We're going to measure G-forces and all kinds of stuff like that. And we're going to compare Project Ron to other cars. Uh, we have things like an ND2 that's lightly modded. I'm going to compare it to my NC, which is slightly modded and has a tuned full exhaust. And at some point, we're going to compare Project Ron to a Porsche Boxster 4.0. And we're going to see how it stands up. So I hope this is going to be super fun. I hope you guys enjoy it. Watch for that content coming up. And I mentioned earlier about creating memberships for the channel to help fund everything. And I wanted to see what kind of things you guys might be interested in if I were to create memberships. I'm not really sold on it so far. Here's the kind of things that I would like to do if I can raise enough money through monetization to pull these things off. I had this crazy idea about going to Miatas at the Gap, but to do it in an interesting way. Look for a Miata for sale somewhere near Deals Gap within a day's drive of it. I would buy that car sight unseen, fly to the area, pick it up, drive it to Deals Gap, go to Miata's at the Gap, and then bring that car home here to Seattle. So that would be at least a 2,500 mile road trip in a car that I just bought sight unseen. So. <laughs> That could be really sketchy, so who knows where that would go. And I've actually mapped out an entire drive. I just haven't been able to do it because I haven't had the budget. And that is to take a drive down through Utah. I want to go across Highway 12, which is a super scenic highway. There's a section called the Hogback that is absolutely beautiful. Some of the most stunning scenery in the United States. And I want to do trips like this. I want to go find fun roads and drive them and react to them. These are the kind of things I'd like to do in the future. And if I have the budget to do it, I'm totally going to do this stuff. And if what I just described sounds of interest to you, all you really need to do to help me achieve those goals is just watch videos, like, share, subscribe, leave comments in the videos. These help me feed the algorithm. And if you're interested in buying merch from my store, you can do that. I get a small cut from that. You can leave a super thanks if you want. And as I said, and I'm being 100% transparent about that, absolutely none of that money goes into my pocket. It all goes right back to Miata channel. So anyway, that's a nice look at the future of the channel and where I intend to go. And that's all I have for today. So we'll see you next time.